Griselda! <coughs> Gwendolyn. It's so quiet now. The sound of battle seems so far away. Seems... I cannot follow my king into the final battle. No! Don't give up! Gwendolyn, please take this. I have no use for it now. This spear has slain many foes, making a mountain of corpses. The king... Father... will undoubtedly praise my actions. I'm sure he will. Do I see tears in your eyes? You're too kind, sister. Please, do not cry. Your older sister will leave the world as a great warrior. Ah, it is so dark here. Gwendolyn, I can't see you. Zelda, I won't let you be alone for long. I shall be by your side soon enough. We have lost this battle. There are simply too many enemies. Ah! the Shadow Knight. Rumor has it he has made a deal with Halyard to acquire such strength. What power? I will face him. Princess, you shall not. <sighs> Kill me now. How long do you intend to keep me pinned down? On. Run away. This battle is over. Any more deaths will just be a waste. Oh, I'm glad to see you're safe. I had feared you were... At this point, I cannot go back. Please, wait. But what good are troops that have lost their leader?
Gwendolyn, you've returned. I have an announcement, Your Majesty, regarding the invasion. Our troops have been lost. The foes had more reinforcements than we had anticipated. We were forced to enter a battle of attrition. The Valkyries suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. I know of Griselda's fate. Griselda fought bravely for you to the very end. She entrusted me with a spear in her final moments. She was the most gallant and noble of all my warriors. That spear is a special weapon known as a cipher. It collects spirits that haunt battlefields and uses their power to smite enemies. Henceforth, you shall wield the spear as you please. We shall launch another assault on the enemy. I shall personally take part in this battle. Send the troops when you're prepared. Father! Is that all you have to say about Griselda? Words will not bring your sister back. Tis no time for sentimentality. able to fight. At the moment I have four soldiers ready. Just say the word. We only have half the troops we started with. Everyone is rushing to their deaths. Princess, that was close. I had heard that the Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed human to me. Why did he let you go? What? Griselda's dead because she rushed ahead of the main forces. It's certainly not because I was late to the battle. Lord Brigan, you may be one of our nation's heroes, but I hear that you act as you wish because my father does nothing to stop you. That, that dastardly queen of the fairies? She was the one who summoned the dragon. That monstrous beast. She truly is evil. Oh, princess, hear me out. That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in the weapons. It absorbs magical elements called phosons and is able to absorb and release them. It will surely lead you to victory. Princess, that stone on your spear is a jewel from the netherworld. Did you know that? Traveling from this world to the netherworld, it's very dangerous, and only one man is able to do it, King Odin. If we can obtain that cauldron and fabricate our own jewels, Ragnarok will have no more enemies. Princess Gwendolyn, I am worried about you. Please stay strong. Thank you, Miras. I shall bring some tea up to your room later. I am a traveling vendor who has been allowed to sell in this castle. Is there uh, anything you need?
a traveling vendor who's been allowed to sell in this guy. Inform the troops. Griselda. So you're going to battle in order to win your father's love. That's not true. I'm fighting for my kingdom and my own pride. If I fall in battle, that is a fate all my countrymen must face. Don't try to hide the truth from me. You seek death so that you may earn the love you so desperately seek. Quiet! I am but a phantom. I represent your innermost thoughts. I am pathetic. I've never been loved since the day I was born. Giving your life for your father will not make your death worthwhile. You will simply die. Like Griselda died. Stop it! If I sacrifice myself for my duty, Father will surely show his love for me. Surely.
I could charge extra since this is a battlefield, but it's very dangerous. I could have nine lives and it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, I'll make you a deal. <laughs>
I'm neutral in this war. I'm just a businessman. In this bloodstained land, the stakes are high, but the profits are higher. <laughs> I have a report, Your Highness. The Aesir have launched an all-out assault. They are attacking our headquarters with all their soldiers. The Paladins fight valiantly, but tis only a matter of time till they are overrun. Oh, 
put in. I see he risks his own life with this strategy of his. Here are your orders. Quickly! Call back the troops from the front line and attack them from behind. Use everything we have. Attack from both sides and annihilate them! Our king is bestowed with divine grace. Prepare yourself, queen of the ghosts. I, King Odin's daughter Gwendolyn, shall be the one to take your life. So, you call me a ghost? The Demon Lord's daughter is bold indeed. <laughs> it seems that my reinforcements have arrived. It's about time, sorcerer. Your Majesty, my sincerest apologies for my tardiness. Come, Belial, my faithful dragon. Let us put this to the test. Do you still dare to speak so impudently before my mighty dragon? King Odin, please rejoice. The enemies are retreating. It seems that it is finally over. Have Brigand's troops hunt down any remaining enemy forces? Go, inform all our soldiers of our victory. Sound the horn and allow them to celebrate our glory. Now, leave me. 
King Odin. Yes, there it is. The crystallization cauldron. Fairies have kept it hidden for so long. Oh, do you see this mysterious light? Now it is finally mine. This power will grant me victory in any battle. What happened to the glow? The cauldron's light has gone out. Do you know where my father... where I may find the king? The king is with the crystallization cauldron. What? Who goes there? What are you doing here? These stupid battles all over again. The cauldron a source of disaster. I will not allow the crystallization cauldron to be used any further. Not by you, nor by the Queen of the Fairies. Wait! Technology is so advanced we can't make it work! That witch from the forest must have put the cauldron's fire out. How did the witch stop the cauldron? That was the forest witch? If I'd known, I wouldn't have let her go. The witch is a refugee from a fallen enemy nation. It's the king's fault she's still alive. Lord Brigan, please refrain from making such critical remarks in front of the soldiers. I cannot still my tongue in the face of weakness. Princess, please! May I ask that the king retract the marriage he arranged for me? I can still fight! I would rather die fighting than be subservient! I would like to help, but this is the law. Valkyries that cannot fight are wed to brave warriors to bear brave children. They are stripped of their pride and honor and live under a man's thumb. Princess Gwendolyn, if that horrible cauldron never existed, then this bloodshed would not happen. Hold your tongue! My father is never wrong in his tactics! Was the Shadow Knight there? He killed many of our troops! I heard that he pledged his soul to death and traded his life for demonic powers. All I know is that I hope I never meet him on the battlefield. You won the war, right? Why is everyone so gloomy? I thought I could make a profit if you were all celebrating. Understand how much we have sacrificed here. If it all was for some hunk of scrap iron, 
It is a disgrace to the dead. I'll catch that witch and make her spill her guts about that cauldron. If she plays dumb, her head will fly. Someone, stop that fool before he leaves. No, he cannot be serious about opposing me. I shall find the witch. Gwendolyn, I leave the rest to you. Father, please wait. A king cannot idly abandon his own castle. If I had not let the witch go, this would not have happened. Allow me to redeem myself. I shall capture the witch. Gwendolyn, wait. Yes, father? Heed my words. Do not cause undue harm to the witch. She's... Well, she's... She is special. Be respectful. As you wish, your majesty.
Why don't you buy something? You may be a famous Valkyrie, but you still get hungry out on the battlefield, right?
cut it out. I'm an innocent bystander. I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs>
why don't you buy something? You may be a famous Valkyrie, but you still get hungry. You'll never get your wish, Valkyrie. Confront me all you want, but you cannot change my resolve. Go back and inform the Demon Lord. I will not listen to your pleas. You have no choice in the matter. If you insist that you will not repair the cauldron... 
That evil spear in my chain are both ciphers. If we battle, it will be a serious affair. You're hesitating. Bluffing will only get you so far. If you value your life, obey the king. You ignorant fool. You cut short your own life by meddling in my affairs. Using the crystallization cauldron will doom the entire world. That accursed cauldron served as a trigger to the horror that befell my native country of Valentine. It is Cataclysm's womb, and it should not exist. The great magical country of Valentine is said to have been destroyed overnight. I am aware of the story that you describe. The Valentine prophecies say the world will be destroyed by five disasters. One of those five involves a furnace that spews despair. You say that line refers to the crystallization cauldron. Tis but a rumor from a ruined land. War will spread across the world. The winning country will rule over the entire land. Your country's ambition is merely a convenient lie for the Demon Lord. Do you imply that my king is deceiving everyone? I will not hear this mockery! Stop this nonsense! I shall take your life if I must! Both of you, cease fighting! Father! Why are you here? I had a premonition of something like this, so I came here. Odin. I cannot allow you to hurt one another. Gwendolyn, step away. Do not interrupt what I have to say. Velvet. You look so much like your mother. My dear daughter, why daughter? are you acting against me? Do not call me your daughter. Do you think I am a fool? While the nations of Valentine and Ragnanova were at war, you disguised yourself and seduced my mother, the princess, with sweet words. And you were quick to flee when she became pregnant. Because my mother gave birth to an enemy's child, she was executed for loving you. 
It is the same as if you had killed her yourself. That is not true, my child. We did not know each other's real names, nor our ranks. I did not run away from her. We were torn apart. I truly love the princess. Father... Lies! If you loved my mother, who is this other daughter here? I do not think of you as my father, and I have no desire to help you. <laughs> well, well. I followed the king and stumbled into a royal spat. Fraternizing with the enemy. Who could have guessed? Lord Brigan. Although their demise was sudden, Valentine was still our enemy. And while the battle raged, the king had an affair with their princess and even had a child. Deary me, the subjects will be most upset. But as I am a loyal servant of my king, I will carry this secret to my grave. But that cauldron is another story. Now come, winsome little witch. You will help us gain its might. <laughs> How did you stop the magic furnace? There must be some type of key to it. Speak, witch, if you value your life. Even if I told you, there is nothing you could do. The cauldron may only be controlled by a ring named Tetrell. A terrible dragon holds the ring presently. Wagner, feared by all, keeps the ring within his stomach. How could this be? Wagner of all things. My lord, what do you plan for the girl who has harmed our country so? If we cannot use the cauldron's magic, the inevitable final battle shall be a recreation of the awful war against Valentine. How are we to inform the soldiers and the citizens? I know. We must sacrifice her flesh to the dragon and retrieve the ring. Command me to sacrifice the witch. Suppress everyone's anger with blood! Hmm, I sense my king is not content. Is there any reason to protect this witch? Is there anything at all between our king and his daughter from an enemy land? Brigand, you... Ah, oh, sire, I hear your command. The witch shall be sacrificed. Away with her! heard about the ring. Wagner is a terrifying dragon that King Odin once fought, but could not kill. If even the king could not defeat it, what can we do? That witch. The king let her live, yet she repays his kindness with evil. Princess Griselda died to gain the cauldron, and now her death is meaningless. Lord Brigan shall surely administer punishment. Just a short time ago, he took the witch and headed to Horn Mountain. Princess Gwendolyn! War is coming to Arion! The war the king predicted! The cauldron is essential! In order to stand victorious and help us conquer the entire continent! Your face is so pale. Princess Gwendolyn, are you feeling ill?
going to our mountain, eh? Huh? You'll freeze to death. Buy some medicine to keep you warm before you go. Mountain, huh?
Father, that girl, Velvet, is she someone special to you, Father? She resembles the princess I once loved. To lose her again, now. Gwendolyn, please leave me. I do not wish you to see me like this. My mother and sister devoted their lives to the king. I never heard him devote so many words of affection to me, ever. If you leave her, she will be executed. That will make you the king's only surviving daughter. You will no longer have to compete for his love. True. If only she were gone. But, if she dies, Father will suffer even more. Are you saying you will save her? This girl who cares nothing for you? If you do, you are committing treason. You will no longer be welcome here. Will you persist in this folly? There will be no way to redeem yourself. How can you willingly choose to walk the path to your own death?
We haven't found the dragon yet. Is Wagner really here, as this girl says he is? Go find him! All of you, go! I don't mind that he isn't here. I never wanted to meet the dragon anyway. Even if you are sacrificed, there's no guarantee it will give me the ring. I'd be needlessly putting my life in jeopardy. What are you planning to do? This is what I will tell your father. The dragon killed you here as I commanded. You? Why are you doing this? Hurry! Run away! If you still wish to live, go! Gwendolyn, you've done a very foolish thing. This isn't about using the cauldron, is it? Why do you seek her death so fervently? Do you really want to know? After she is dead, I will inform the nation that the witch was the king's daughter. And after having a child with the enemy, he was such a monster that he killed her. <laughs> The people will wonder if such a man is fit to be king. I never thought one of my king's trusted generals could be so treacherous. After I deal with you, I'll recapture that girl and offer her to the dragon. Why don't you try begging for mercy? Perhaps you could be the new king's mistress.
This is hopeless. You have disobeyed me and killed my chief vassal. The fact that you are my daughter cannot save you from punishment. The citizens of the nation will never stand for it. You are trembling. Do you regret your actions? There is no excuse for what I did. I am prepared to face the consequences. I shall endure any form of punishment. Rebellious Valkyrie, you will undergo the customary punishment. A sleeping spell will be cast upon you. When you awaken, your heart will belong to a stranger. Your pride and honor will be stripped away. You will devote your life to him, bear his children, and grow old. I care not. My actions spared you from suffering. Oh, my dear. What have I done? You do not doubt yourself, my precious daughter. I... I have longed to hear you say those words. It's as if it was all a dream. Thank you. 